Hi guys and welcome to another video of vibing with via if you notice that i might be looking around a lot it's because i'm in a parking lot and of course we we'll have to be very vigilant and watch our surroundings but i have to be waiting here and i figured why not just um go ahead and make today's video so what am i talking about now the recent pep results and i guess i want to offer some words of encouragement to the awardees as well as their parents some persons may be disappointed uh, simply because they did not get the school that was their first choice or second choice or even third choice of the list of seven. But you were awarded a place and I think for that you should be grateful, right? I can understand those persons who may have very high averages and they may not have been placed at a traditional high school. I can understand how you feel and I can understand if it is that you actually want to uh, go through the whole process of acquiring a transfer because we must be honest and we must call a speed a speed. All schools are not created equally, right? And there are a number of reasons that contribute to that, be it because they may not have a strong alumni or they may not have uh, the most qualified teachers or they may have leaders who demonstrate nothing but ineptitude or it may be the location of the school. You know, there are several factors that can contribute to that. So as a, as a fact, as a rule of thumb, we know that all schools are not created equally. But what we do know is that irrespective of what happens from year one to year five, at the end of the day, everybody who is in attendance at all of these schools must end up doing one exit exam and that is CXE. And really and truly, that's where it's going to matter. Do you have your subjects or not? Because that's what you need to move on, right? And so to a great extent, I am saying, unless you are really in a volatile area or you believe that your child would not be able to function in that space or there are some, you know, additional reasons like if you live in one parish and your child has to go all the way, yay, far, far, far away and it would have caused problems. If not, I'm saying bloom where you're planting. The reality is, if you are a bright student, a good student, irrespective of what the environment might be like, you could probably put yourselves in a frame of mind where you still excel. And who is to tell? You might become the big star in this school. You may become the one person that everybody now has to look to. Bloom where you're planted. I'm thinking of a story where... Um, Hmm. A lady who lived very close to me, she's an, she's an educator and she actually was teaching at a school in the inner city community, very volatile area. That community is one, in fact the school itself is one that I used to volunteer at. And I remember that the last day I went there was when some gunshot did a back. When I was down there to volunteer and that was the last day. I'm like, no, I'm not about this life because I really don't have to. But it is out of the goodness of my heart and I felt like I wanted to give back and that was what I was doing and that happened. And I kid you not, this lady took her daughter um, from a traditional high school and brought her there. And she's probably the only student in the last maybe six or seven years that still have received eight CXC subjects and received them with grade one. And that is the school that she attended. Bloom where you are planted. Now, um, you know, the harsh reality is... Um, we know that there are schools and there are schools, right? Not all schools are created equally. But think about yourselves as the person who will be the next rising star. When you go to this school, what is it that you have to contribute? What it is that you are going to be known for? How are you going to raise the bar and raise the standard and change? Most importantly, change the perception of your school to one that is more positive. And I'm choosing my words carefully. I went to a traditional school, a school that everybody to this day, if you ask them which school I want to go, they're going to say to you, Campion College, a creme de la creme, undisputed top of top school. I make no apologies for that. I've lived it. I know what the requirements are like, etc., etc. And even for us, being in what persons would deem 
as the best you're going to hear some person say no one of the best now as far as i'm concerned it's good better best <laughs> so if you're going to say one of the best i don't know how that works but for me because i am going to have my school spirit up here okay the best school if it is that you are going there that you have to add value to the school that you're attending to what can you contribute to your school to ensure that one it remains in that position or two if it's not in that position that it gets to a better position right so um th these are important things get involved in like the school's extracurricular activities let's be mindful of the fact that not every child is high on the academic um ladder that's what i want to call it they're not necessarily the highest rung on the academic ladder but they might have other skills they might be excellent at sports you need to establish a balance for sure but what i'm saying is that you need to know look into self and say okay what is my strong point and based on what your strong point is that is what you really want to spend a lot of time on to raise the bar for the institution that you are attending hands down okay so um it's an experience that you want to enjoy you have another five to seven years being in an institution you're going to be meeting new people you're going to be meeting new teachers it's going to be hard work irrespective of which school you're attending it is going to be hard work and i say this to people don't take high school for a joke you waste out your years when you get to year five or year seven you're going to regret that you did so pay very close attention as to what is going on in your school life and get involved you know there are some strategies that you can follow things like you go to school the first day you get an assignment oh if you have a nice teacher who will say to you well the assignment is not due until one week from now don't wait until the night before the assignment is due for you to sit and get it done the very same day you get the assignment work on the assignment okay you want to make sure that at the end of the day from day one you have things like a study timetable get that going especially if you know that you're not somebody who is uh, highly academically inclined or you know you don't get things quickly or if you know that you're not intrinsically motivated get yourselves a study timetable and stick to it i oftentimes say to students look High school not hard. No schooling not hard. I'm sorry. Them always say me like, you're bright. But I'm telling you, schooling is not difficult. It's like saying Psalm 23 or saying the national pledge or singing the national anthem. If every single day you go home and you say you're going to revise, you went back from the very first notes that your teacher gave you. You're going to find that as you're reading through, as you're reading through, that thing is being etched here. You're going to remember it. When it comes down to the time for you to do an exam, or anything like that guess what you'd have a problem why because you're familiar with the information you know this like how you know your name you know this like how you know a bible verse high school is not hard what about the discipline though i want to talk about the discipline in terms of how you wear your uniform ladies and gentlemen let me tell you boys and girls who are watching this is a big deal for me like i'm an adult now I have stopped going to school many, 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 many moons ago. But let me tell you this. If I am walking on the road and I see a camponite with the shirt out of the pants or the blouse out of the skirt, you best believe I am dripping up that child. And when I say drip up, no, I don't mean physical. You know the term in Jamaica, we say we drip them up. Yes, I am a running out on that person. I'm going to make them know. So look here, you are not going to bring down the standard of my alma mater i'm gonna make fun for tell people said them ago you need to act accordingly because there is a standard that ought to be maintained and i know for many of my friends who also attended um you know their their, their traditional high schools mainly we're stickler for this you know you ask somebody who's attended hampton you can't just can't say hampton you have to round up your mouth to say hampton or somebody who attended Immaculate, or somebody who went to Cornwall College, they will tell you Monroe, Clarendon College, you know, just to name a few. They, these people, they will let you know that, no, we drip up people. We drip them up. You understand me? Mannings, oh my God, Mannings High. We drip up people because at the end of the day, we are committed to ac academic excellence. We are committed to... Um, just greatness overall you know 
standards are there to maintain and they ought to be maintained and so we believe as past students that we play a role so the discipline is important um as a child going to school we were not allowed to eat in our uniform on the road now i see person just walk around and them a suck on a bag juice and them a rip a patty and whatever in a them school uniform we were not allowed to be on the road after certain hours being in our school uniform no matter where your parents gonna take you they had to make sure that they brought a change of clothes for you because you were not allowed you should not be seen after certain hours in your school uniform in a real way that is the kind of thing that i want to see come back to the fore you know i feel like that is the first step of um attempting to fix this society perhaps it starts in the school you know it starts in the school what is it that we're going to be standing up for as educators what are we standing up for as principals what are we standing up for as parents as um you know as teachers did i say that already what are we standing up for as students because you know student leadership is also important big up on a student coach that we pass through my school not because i'm your staff advisor but may i talk about things them right and the prefect them we encroach me still love them you know i don't know they're not coming first but me still love them but really and truly you know i have to talk about this because it is so important that the image of the school is maintained so the discipline is not just are you disciplined enough to um, carry out or execute the curriculum of the school but are you disciplined enough to understand that you are marketing a brand a lot of these schools that people shy away from um, I don't want to identify with this place or that place the real reason behind it you know is because there was no deliberate attempt to protect the brand of the school right so irrespective of which school you're going to go rep your school let me talk about one last thing as it relates to um this high school life for those of you who are venturing ah <sighs> so champs they keep that every year okay football this that that but champs is a big deal for a lot of persons for the love of god let me tell y'all something rep your own school if you don't rep your school who is gonna rep it for you and that is why persons will look and say that those persons who attended like uh the more traditional high schools they will say oh they're so cocky and they're so snobbish and they're so no it's about school culture it's about school spirit. It's about understanding the pull factor that is associated with your institution. Okay? So, um, chums come. You go to school X, but you're over there, so I cheer for school. Why me? Let me tell you something. Every single year, and I'm talking about in my adult life, <laughs> that campion even has one representative in a chums. Me walk and tell everybody says campion win chums. I don't... Me, I care zero for all win. Congratulations to you, but it's my school win champs. The same is true for football. There was a time when um we weren't known for that sport. That's not our dominant sport, so to speak. And I can remember vividly there was a match with St. George's College and they came to Campion to play on our team. I remember tell you, George's are where we are. Wap, 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 goal. Let me tell you something. Every single time George's score a goal, the way in which us Campanites cheer, our boys were of the opinion that they were the ones who scored. Them none of them, you know. But the way how we make them feel, you see when time it done, and George's are tried to jump up, they were so embarrassed, they just went into their bus and they left because we were celebrating. When you say a finals match, I mean semi-finals, sorry. A semi-finals match and we reach us up, and this is not our strong point, are we win? Are we, you can't talk to me, are we win? We care zero about what nobody else said. We are winners. So champion, champions 24-7. And so when you go to your respective schools, cheer for your school. Ah, oh, when you come dead losses, you win. And I'm not saying you must have good sportsmanship where you can congratulate another school. That's not what I'm suggesting. Congratulate them. That's nice for you, but uh, we win. Because we still are winner when we come dead last, right? So um, finally, I just want to say enjoy your high school years it's so important enjoy that um you'd have worked hard throughout the year for those persons who may not have received the school that they actually wanted to go to i'm gonna say this again bloom where you're planted i'm a strong believer in that unless there are some adverse situations mitigating against you being there and excelling there bloom where you are planted now watch the face going there and maths it up and awards it up and certificate it up and yeah raise the standard and raise the bar because you know what at the end of the day you know your school will celebrate you as a champion but when you go out into the wider world irrespective of which school you attended what you have brought to the table over the years is exactly what persons are going to be looking at
So take my full full advice and you know enjoy yourself guys it's the start of a new phase so enjoy yourself live it up live it up load enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it live in the moment and you know all the best we're counting on you to be the next functional problem solvers of Jamaica you are the future and I'm already scared about what I'm living in right now with some of these so-called new young people who just graduated out of high school some are owning already so you people who are coming in as a fresh crop from first form just do the do do it right make it worth everybody well you know go create impact guys because that is really what life is about so thank you so much for watching this video big up yourselves and I will see you in the next video